hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling tutorial. Today we're going to talk a bit about the Excel XMPV function. So if you haven't already done so, please stop the tape and read through the blog article. If you've done that, you should be up to the examples section. So let's take a look through these examples. Okay, the first question says, find the present value of $100 given to us in five years time with a discount rate of 5%. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some dates. So let's put in dates. Okay, let's assume that the first date is the 31st of December 2011. We're going to put in a EO month function. So just simply type in equals EO month and select 31 December 2011, 12. All we're saying here is that we're going up in 12 monthly intervals and we're just going to change that to a date. Okay, so I've copied that one across, so shift arrow right and then control R to copy across. Now we're going to put in the cash flows. Okay, so we know that I'm just going to format that quickly. We know that we get zero here all the way through to December 2015 and then we're going to get $100. Okay, I'm just going to add some lines in here. So you can add them by clicking on the row, right clicking and clicking insert. And now we're going to use the XMPV function. So all we do with the XMPV function is equals XMPV. Put in the rate. So we said it was a 5% discount rate. Then we put in the values. And then we put in the dates. Okay, so it's similar to the MPV formula in Excel, but we're putting in dates. Okay, so then we get an MPV of 78. Okay, so that one's quite simple. Let's look at a harder example. So now we're going to look at example two. You are thinking of investing in a machine. On 31st of December 2011, the machine costs $150 and you require a return of 10%. If you have the following cash flows, would you invest in the machine? Okay, so we've got a investment of $150. Let's say this occurs on the 31st of December. So let's just put in 31 December 2011. And we can even, let's just actually use the dates from up here. So let's go equals. And that's all done for us. We're going to, so that's dates. And then we've got cash flows. So we've got a negative 150. And then we've got equals. And that should be right up to December 2015. Okay, so there are the cash flows. Now let's do an XMPV of this. So the rate is 10%. Then comma, we can select the values here. So we're discounting back to the 31st of December 2011 when we make the initial investment. Comma, and then let's put the dates in. And enter. Okay, so that gives us negative 12 as an MPV or negative $12 in, as an MPV. Now, remember our criteria for accepting and rejecting projects. If the MPV is above zero, then we would accept the project. If it's below zero, then we would reject it. So in this case, we would reject the project. Okay, there are two simple examples that will help you use the MPV function in or the XMPV function in Excel.